Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I am working with the Hello Bundle from Doodlebug Design. Included in this bundle, you receive ribbons, flower sequins, heart-shaped sequins, a Hello Doodle Pop letter and envelope, the Chit Chat as well as the odds and ends and the six by six paper pad along with those jewels. So this is a very colorful collection. And the reason why I ordered this one particularly is because one of my girlfriends absolutely loved it. And I wanted to package her up a cute little bundle of this collection to gift to her. So I am creating my favorite pocket. It is the simplest pocket to create and I'm not even sure where I originally saw this but you basically take two 12 by 12 sheets of paper, fold them together and then you just fold up the bottom, tuck that other one in and fold it just based on how you want the levels to present themselves and then you glue it all together and you are left with four levels of pockets to put stuff in. So I use my glue gun, it's a really strong adhesive and it makes sure that everything sticks together really well. What I didn't realize at the time that I put this pocket together was that it was going to be too small to fit the things that I had in mind. So you'll see later on in the video that I actually go back and redo the size of the pocket by wrapping the papers around the things that I want to put in to make sure that it fits. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the odds and ends. This collection is just so cute, right? Like anytime you talk doodlebug, cute. It's the word that comes to mind because it's so colorful and so fun and a perfect collection to work with for spring. It's, uh, I, I just love all the bright colors. All of the doodlebugs products match each other. Like they use the same color theme throughout all of their products. So you can interchange things really easily. But um, I wanted to keep a really subtle background pocket for this collection because it's so colorful. I really wanted it to stand on its own. So that little flower I'm using is from Prima. It's something I've had for years. And I'm just going to go and take a little bit of a gold trim that was gifted to me in some happy mail and I'm going to put it around the outside just to add a little bit of sparkle and there was a pink rosette that was also gifted to me that's going inside that as well and it's the focal point that I build everything else around. I use those little foam squares from Michaels to attach the wreath and then I put this rosette in the middle. The rosette came from Miss Avali and she sent me a beautiful happy mail that I have a video of everything that she sent to me and she is the queen of rosettes. She is so talented at making them and it actually convinced me to make my own. If you watched my last video you would have seen that I for the first time ventured out to make my own rosettes because I'm so inspired by all the other crafters who have been making them and they're really a nice focal point. So I take some crepe paper and I just glued a strip of glue gun glue down and folded the crepe paper into itself and that acts as a base. I glued that acetate in just on the one level. When you're making a project like this you have to make sure that you don't um, put glue on things that you want to stand above the pocket because you don't want the things to get stuck. So. Here I was telling you how you can fold things around your products. I left this part in because I basically had to go and redo the entire pocket because it actually wasn't big enough to hold the paper the way that I had it. 
So I had already started gluing everything down, but it ends up being fine. So I just go back, I get the same pages, and this time I work around the products that I'm going to be putting in to make sure that everything is going to fit. And it doesn't matter that there's that little bit of a gap that's there because that easily gets filled in later on when I decorate up the inside pockets. So it still creates the little pouches that I need and then this way everything fits inside. So that was a little live and learn lesson for, uh, for me to do next time. But like I said, because these pockets are so simple to create, it was really no trouble to go in. And I just cut off the work that I'd already started to do. And again, it just creates an extra layer, an extra level of depth. So it uh, worked out fine. The only problem with it was I ended up using up two um, 12 by 12 sheets of paper that got wasted. But as you can see, I'm roughing up the edges here with my fingernail and so it adds again like an additional le level of texture. So those sheets I got from Michaels that's a foam adhesive backed sheet and they're a really good economical way to add layering to your projects. So I use glue for one side and I use the adhesive back for the other side. So now I'm sure that everything fits in, so note to self in future, <laughs> make sure to test things before you start decorating. But in the end, I'm back to where I was and no harm done. So I'm going to look through all the different papers and um, I end up deciding to use this interesting crate paper that I also got from Michaels to add again I just wanted a subtle pattern on the pocket because the collection is so colorful and I didn't want to create too much of a contrasting pattern so that I could uh, decorate up the the levels with like one piece of that odds and ends ephemera so I go in and I just fold over these little crepe papers and then they create a seamless line across the top so you never even know that the papers don't line up exactly perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a saying. There are so many fantastic sayings in this little chit chat set. It's one of the things I really like about Doodlebug. It's unique to them. There aren't really many other brands that have this many word die cut phrases that match an ephemera pack. So that's something that they do really well and it was easy to pick a sentiment that I wanted to put on there because there were so many sentiments to choose from as well as sizes to choose from. So my sweet friend is the perfect little bottom part there. So I go ahead and add those little feathers and the X's and O's, the butterflies. Like, gosh, this is just cute. That little Vespa. I decide that I want to add some stitching. So I go ahead and add a little stitching to the hearts and the little scooter there. I tape down that one side so that the stitching doesn't come out. And then I glue it into place with my hot glue gun and you can see I'm just putting one line of glue down on every um, bottom of the different die cuts and things that are going to be sticking up out. So I'm tucking everything that comes in this bundle into the pockets and then I'm just going to add some finishing touches there's so many, I like that green bow there actually, there's so many pretty elements to this collection. There's so many beautiful images that it's easy to just create something so colorful and beautiful and fun. This was a collection that she had her eye on a while ago. I remembered her saying that she liked it and when I was putting in an order from Doodlebug, I thought I'm gonna have to get this collection because she brought my attention to it. It was really just so pretty. So I go in and I add some finishing touches with those little gems 
always add a little sparkle, which is nice. And then I wrap it up at the end in some cellophane. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this package, it is available at polkadotmailbox.com. If you are interested in getting all these sequins and ribbons and papers and ephemera and chit chats, they're all available in the Hello Bundle. So I thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.